everyone. Happy, Happy Lunar, Lunar New Year. Year. As you can see, we are wearing the Vietnamese traditional dress called Ao Yai. Yes. This is for the festival only. Yeah. Uh, today we're going to talk about IELTS general, specifically for express entry, where you have to score CLB 9 or higher to maximize your points for FSW. Yes, we will be sharing tips and tricks that we used during our IELTS self-study right. and how we were able to achieve our target score. But don't forget, we had to go for IELTS twice. Uh, we were able to achieve first time as well. Yes. But there were some mistake by IELTS. What mistake they made, we will share at the end. So do watch the video until the end to know like what happened yes. with us like we are, when we were able to achieve for the first time why we yeah. had to go for the second time yeah. right and do not forget to subscribe our channel let's start with the reading yes. so for me i don't find any difficulty in reading like maybe i was lucky so i get um, nine and straight in all my three efforts yeah. and it all comes to time management how right. you can manage your time efficiently for me, I apply skimming and scanning. So whenever I got a reading passage, first thing, I'm gonna just read through the passage, skim, to see, to understand the main idea. Then I'm gonna jump to questions, understand the questions, then come back to the passage, scan, read it quick to find the correct answer. Remember, you don't need to understand the whole passage. Yes, exactly. True. And then get yourself um, familiar with specific types of question. For example, matching headlines, true false not given, or multiple choices. So when it comes to answer, do not overthink and do not spend too much time on one question. For example, you are stuck at question 15. Jump to 15, find the answer for 16, and you will know the answer for 15 somewhere above. 16 yeah, only. Great. Yeah. So that for reading. Now let's um, get some tips and tricks from our speaking expert who got 8.5. <laughs> yes. Okay. So for speaking, I think the most important thing for speaking is your fluency, your mm. vocabulary, your grammar, yeah. um, your pronunciation. Um, to do that, to achieve that thing, you need to practice every day. Mm. Uh, if you can practice with someone, mm. it's really good. If yeah. you cannot record yourself, watch the time and you can listen to your speaking yeah. later and you can you can see where you're making mistakes so you yeah. can work you can actually work on those mistakes mm, true. and also as she mentioned in the beginning for reading is like if you miss some question you cannot find the answer you mm. can leave it and come back later yeah. but for speaking you cannot do that <laughs> no. so when an examiner asks you something you mm. need to answer right away in case if you don't know the answer you can uh, take some time to think about it by the time you can use fillers mm. say like if uh, if like an examiner asks you uh, what kind of channel you like to watch on TV mm. you can say oh that's an interesting question whenever I come home I get tired I usually watch TV to relax myself so that that can be used as a filler to think what exact exactly you watch mm. or you like to watch something yeah. like that mm. if you cannot relate the answer right away mm. and also the time you have been given yeah. to to like give the answer you make sure you utilize that time properly mm -hmm. in case if you finish early you can always extend your answer yeah. like as I said like the same could take the same question what kind of channel you like to watch you can always say at the end of the day oh I like to watch discovery but that shouldn't be your answer because it finished so quickly mm -hmm. so you can always add the stuff oh I like to watch discovery I like to watch like you know um, jungle life or maybe mm. beer grills if you like you know <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's going like just add something or or you can also say at then oh I, I also watch national geographic mm, you know yeah uh, I, I like to compare between discovery and national geographic like these things can be used to extend your answer yeah. you're staying between the boundaries of that question mm. as well as you utilizing your that fillers mm. or extension to maximize the time you have been given yes that's correct okay so that's it for speaking yes we'll go to the next module writing Okay, so for writing, I find it is the... Yeah, okay, uh, let me add in the beginning. If your writing is like mine, when you write, you cannot even read yourself what you have written. Just go for computer-based test directly. <laughs> okay, yes, take advantage of that. I cannot even read his handwriting for yes, your information. it's so bad. <laughs> and also writing, I think is like the hardest part for me. Yes. I'm not sure for you, maybe. Yeah. So all come to time management as well. 
So how you manage your time to finish both of the tasks? So you know that that's one normally shorter, easier, can spend maximum 20 minutes and then you can spend 40 minutes at least for task two, right. which normally account for more points. Right. So what I normally do is before um, writing, I'm gonna plan my essay, my email accordingly. So I'm gonna identify the main issue in the topic, in the question, and then I'm gonna brainstorm main ideas, supporting ideas, and also <laughs> organize my paragraphs accordingly. So how to do that um, quickly, efficiently? Get yourself used to each type of the question. For example, like for task one, emails, it's gonna be invitation, recommendations or complaints and for task two for the essay it will be like can you discuss um, advantages and disadvantages do you agree or disagree can you discuss both views something like that when you already understand you know uh, the types of questions and get yourself used to it you can do writing easily right. and the last thing for writing for me is actually is reading the more I read the more knowledge and ideas, ideas I can get yeah. from like let's say a news um, newspaper article or even internet news feed and then I use those knowledge example into my writing right mm. so the next module will be listening mm. when it comes to listening uh, the most important thing is concentration you really yeah. need to put your concentration to achieve maximum points mm. while listening is really important because you need to score at least eight band mm. to score CLB nine or higher whereas other modules you only need seven mm. um, so so make sure you practice your concentration so that you can achieve at least eight bands yeah. um, to do that you need to practice every single day mm. by doing practice you also know the kind of tricks they use to trick you yeah. to answer the wrong answer instead of the right answer yeah um, and also when you like like writing for the answer while mm. listening mm. sometimes they they are little quick and yeah. the answer is long so you make sure when when writing for the answer you write in a shortcut so that you can always come back later and finish your answer and also when they give you time in the beginning of mm. the listening yeah. you read through the questions properly yes you understand what mm. kind of, what type of questions they're asking and you know what whatever the answer like you can guess the answer mm. already yeah. um, and you can fo put more focus towards the answer because yeah. that's that's the time when they're gonna trick you yeah. and at the end make sure they give you time to check your answers you do check your answer because you can make a spelling mistake yes because um, what happens for listening is like if the even if the spelling is wrong the answer is wrong so you cannot afford those mistakes mm, true. and also you can finish those answers which you have write in shortcut and you can also check for your sing uh, grammar mistake like singular or plural right yes okay so i want to add one thing yes, for please. listening and reading you got 40 questions 40 yeah. answers yeah. if you cannot um, get one answer just guess it yeah if you have missed mm. any kind any answer you can always go back later when you have time mm. you can guess the answer yes because um, there's no negative marking yes so if you get guess the answer right you get point if yes, not exactly. it's okay nothing yeah, happens it's on your luck <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh, that's it for tips and tricks from us yeah. and we hope that you can utilize those tips and tricks for your IELTS self study yeah and we believe if we can achieve IELTS you can too yes. and now we will share our story what happened uh, when we gave exam for IELTS exam, yes. uh, we lack for the first time, we mm. lack 5.5 bands for uh, listening. Yeah, right? just half point, but it can like affect everything. Yes, it affected everything. We mm. couldn't achieve the uh, bands we wanted to achieve. Yeah. So we went for IELTS again, mm. second time within yeah. two to three weeks. Yeah. And we were, achieve, we were able to achieve the second time. But after a year later, IELTS, they came back to us saying, <laughs> this yeah. is so funny, saying that the marking was wrong for the first uh, time, for the first time. Mm. Uh, we didn't really realize it's for listening because we for listening what happens is like if our answer is wrong it's wrong mm. if it's right if it's right so mm. maybe we were thinking about writing or something or else yeah. writing or speaking yeah. so we sent our uh, test, report. test yeah. report back they sent us the new one and we were able to achieve yes so actually we got eight, eight in, in listening. listening yes 
and uh, this was so frustrating because we had to go for the second mm -hmm. time. We spent money as well. Mm -hmm. We wasted three weeks. <laughs> yes. And so we wrote to IELTS again saying like um, we, we couldn't believe that you made mistake mm -hmm. while marking for listening. Yeah. yeah. So they at the end of the day, they did refund our money back yes. to us. Mm -hmm. So why are we sharing this story is to motivate you. If you feel like your test was good, mm -hmm. even even if it's reading or listening, make sure you go for re-evaluation yes uh, if you don't want to go for the test again mm -hmm. like us you can go for re-evaluation and you never know they have made mistake in your case too yeah can be and and yes ielts they do make mistake yeah, okay. <laughs> i think like like humans we make mistakes yes, so ielts yes. mm. yeah okay and i think this is it from us today uh shall we go celebrate now Yes, we will be celebrating the Lunar New Year soon. And so. we wish you luck as well to start studying for IELTS if you want to. This is Lunar New Year. Uh, you got a second chance within the year <laughs> to start something new. Okay, yes. So, okay. See you guys see in the yeah, next see videos. See you, bye. Take care.